Hello, my name is Raila Boost, and in this video I will do a brief introduction to Autodesk BIM 360 services and always a focus to how to set up a BIM 360 project in a way that you can actually connect through a design software into BIM 360 project. To be able to follow, of course, you do need to have Autodesk BIM 360 account, but if you don't, you can also create a trial account. I start from a direct web page, that is bim360.autodesk.com, but you can also find it from autodesk.com general website BIM 360 landing page. From here, I can click on login, then I do need to have Autodesk ID, I sign in and use my username and a password. Once I do that, I can now select BIM 360 account admin. Once again, pay attention to that you need to have access first to be able to enter to that location. So I use BIM 360 account admin. Now this is a Autodesk BIM 360 account admin page. And in here you can start to create new projects and once you add a new project and also project manager then he she will take over the management of that specific project. But of course as an account admin you can choose project high level settings. Just a brief overview what you can do at account admin page you have some general settings, account administrators, you have analytics, from here you can see health of your projects. Then you have companies. Please keep in mind that if you start to create a new project, then project do you need to have a member with a company. And into this list you can simply add companies by clicking on add button, company name, trade or company type and as such. I do have one company so I don't add more, but obviously your project members can belong to different companies. So that is the reason why you can focus also into this tab and add more companies if you will. So members, I do have one member here, but I will just quickly add one more. So add people to the member directory. I then add second account. I can then use a default company and default role and I hit save. One member has been added to this account. Currently, you can see a status as inactive, meaning that this member has not been invited to a project yet. So I go to Project tab and I add a new project by clicking on Add button. I include project name, project type, I can select from several project types, construction type, project value, it will be a demo project, project start date, and project end date. Also the location of project and BIM 360 field project language. Of course, you usually add additional information like project address and as such, you can also add project image and then you hit save and continue. Next thing, you can activate different BIM 360 services like document management activated and I will add project administrator, meaning that I do have previously created one member who will be responsible about this project and I simply add this email to each and every component. So save, you can add more if you need to and you can only select those members that are defined earlier. I will select model coordination next generation which is newer version of BIM 360. I hit I agree and again I hit save then BIM 360 field Activate. Again, I select a newer version, I hit save and BIM 360 plan activate and same user save. Obviously, those members can be different at different level of services, but I included once again the same responsible person. I hit finish and I do have now one project called BIM demo. So if I create a new project and add a member as a project administrator, and take a look to members tab again, I can see that the status is also changed. Now this member is active. By the way, this person gets a notification through an email that now he is added to the project as project administrator. But we take a look project administrator in another video. Therefore, if you learned something new about this video, Please do subscribe to my channel and you get notification about new videos I add. Bye bye.